I ain't know necessarily it was a gift at that time. I just knew, I, you know, I just knew I wanted to do something regarding music. Cause later on in life, I, I tried to be a DJ like my dad, you know. But you know, as I got older and older, I always wrote, but DJ was like my main focus. And then, you know, as I got older and older, I just started paying attention more to music. I first started rapping when I was like eight years old. Uh, my dad, he was a, a DJ like before I was born. So he was always like in the, in the basement, you know, mixing his, mixing his stuff and, you know, messing with his equipment. He did that my whole life. So just one time I took the wireless mic he had and I had one upstairs when I was eight. We had lived in Kensington and I, uh, I started rapping on it. Him and my uncles came upstairs. You know, they was proud of me. I break down the bars to my song, It Is What It Is, off my latest project, Confidence. Your bitch won't party with Fed. I took her back to the crib. She asked me about a mumble rapper. I do not know what that is. He said he wanted some beef. I went and grabbed me a cig, pointed that shit at his body, and I started cooking his ribs. Basically, I came across that because uh, I was talking to this girl one time and I told her I had did music, I rap. And she was like, what you, a mumble rapper? And I kind of felt disrespected. You know, just basically because, no offense to mumble rappers or anything, but I, I take pride in, you know, what, what I say and that it gets heard. That's like the main thing. So I'm like, a, I'm the opposite, complete opposite of a mumble rapper. Fair guy jeans on me, shit. I used to pray for this drip, butter shit down with some butters, but all of the hoes still stick. I told the shit low ass, she made it quick in this bitch. He dream of the new Impala, not I, I need a riff with the tent. Basically, I remember the times where I couldn't afford fair guy jeans, you know? I used to pray for that, you know? People that was around me, you know, their parents could afford it or whatever, or they could afford it on their own. I, I couldn't until now, so, you know, me being able to wear those now, and being being as I used to pray for that, you know, I'm excited for that. Uh, and I say bust them sits down with some butters, but all of the holes still stick. You know, in Philly we wear butters, that's our thing. So you know, I I mix the the fair guy jeans with the butters. You know, bust them sit down with some butters, but all of the holes still stick. You know, when you use butter when you're cooking or whatever, the main thing is to use it so it don't the food don't stick to the pot. So and I say all of the holes still stick. So I threw on the butters. That breaks down that. I told her to shake a little ass. She made it quick in this bitch. He dreamed of the new Impala. Nah, nah, I need a break for the tent. This is basically me trying to separate myself from others. Where I see, you know, the goals for myself and where other pe people see the goals for themselves. You know, he might dream of the new Impala. I'm dreaming more than that. I'm dreaming, I'm trying to get, you know, get, go more than that. I'm about to blow this year. Passing you niggas, switch gears. My bitch body snatch. Kid wear, woo, her pussy slaps, Ric Flair. That bar, I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's my time, you know. I'm about to blow this year. I'm passing you niggas switch gears, you know, when you when you about to step on the gas and the gear switch, you get a little speed. I say my bitch body snatch, kid wear. Uh, that's basically saying, you know, her body snatch. She had a kid, but you can't tell. You know, when a kid gets snatched, you don't know where he at. So my kid where? When I say, woo, her pussy slaps, Ric Flair. When I was a kid, I liked wrestling, you know. And one of my favorite wrestlers was, was Ric Flair. And, you know, every time he slapped your chest or whatever, him and along with the crowd, they'll say, woo. So, you know, that's what I mean by her pussy slaps Ric Flair. I mean, it's good. I'm feeling like kill, slow grind. And got it to waste, no time. Wait, I hunt for man. Don't think they get what I'm saying. Go hunt. Shout out to my man, Slow, Slow Grind Q. He got his line going on. But uh, that's what I mean when I when I sound feeling like Q. You know, everything is, is it's a slow grind right now. You know, you got you got to grind it till you get there. You know, ain't got it to waste no time. Basically saying, you know, I don't, I don't have no time to waste right now. You know, time is money, and you can't get time back once it's wasted. And uh, when I was a kid, I like I like uh, you know. Dragon Ball Z, and Gohan is, was like the first half man, half saying. So 
I try to compare myself to, you know, me being different from everybody else. And uh, when I say, uh, don't, I don't think they get what I'm saying. I try to switch the flow up a little bit and, you know, try to compare the two, the saying that, to the saying. I know I didn't come up from nothing. I just played my hand of a bluffing. This is not up for discussion. You ain't shit without me, David Ruffin. That's me saying, you know, I know I come up from anything. I've been through a lot. And uh, there's been times where, you know, it, situations was hard. And I didn't I ain't know how I was going to come out of it. But I know how, you know, and I, and I did. So I get that credit to myself. I know I didn't come up from nothing. I just played my hand of a bluffing. You know, I, in that process, I was just being myself. You know, I just played my hand, never bluffing. I ain't had to pretend to be nobody else or do something that was out of my character. I just did me and it still worked out. I still came up from nothing. This is not up for discussion. You ain't shit without me, David Ruffin. This go along with basically the meaning of the song. Uh, it's a couple people that I try to, you know, bring on and, and, and build a team with. And, uh, you know, it didn't work out. So that's me. Playing a spinoff, you know, The Temptations, y'all ain't shit without me, David Ruffin. That's something he said, and that's something I feel as though those people that didn't want to join me in and build something, that's how they going to be. I'm the hottest coming out of Uptown. Them short jokes, nigga, what now? They sleeping on me, but I'm up now. Every play I make is a touchdown. I'm the hottest coming out of Uptown. That's just me being competitive. You know, when I was in high school, I played sports, and... You know, it, it, it's it's competitive. You know, my main my main sport was track, and you know sometimes you're in a team, sometimes you you know you're in an individual race. Although I'm in an individual race, I might gotta race your whole team. We all in different lanes, so that's me just being a competitor. You know, it might be me versus your whole team, but that's how it is. I'm the hottest coming out of Uptown. They sleeping on me, but I'm up now. Every play I make is a touchdown. You know, people slept on me, you know, and I realize that now. So it, it's time to, you know, it's time to get moving and time to, you know, work hard and, and do what I got to do. Every play I make is a touchdown. Every play that, I, that I've that i made, you know, has been in, a, in the right direction. And, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. It's hard to score every time you get the ball, you know, when you're in the NFL. But I contribute that to, you know, every bar I make or every move I make or, Every lyric, whatever it is, it's a touchdown, it's a hit, whatever you want to call it. I got the juice, I'm feeling like Pop, I'm feeling like Biggie, give me a loop. I cannot help it, a ball like a Celtic, I am the truth, I am the truth. I got the juice, one of my uh, favorite movies is, is Juice, you know, Tupac played in that. And uh, Juice is like, you know, swag or sauce or whatever you want to call it. I believe whatever it is, I got it, you know, I have it. Uh, Feeling like Biggie, give me the loop. Everybody know about the Junior uh, Mafia movement and uh, Biggie, and give me the loop. You know, everybody want the loop. That's just that's just what it is. You know, it is what it is. I cannot help it. I ball like a Celtic. I'm the truth. I'm the truth. You know, you can't help who you are. You can't help who you know. You can't help it. You know, I can't help that I'm moving in the right direction. I can't help that. You know, I feel like I'm better than certain people or. Certain people are not doing what they need to do to be, you know, more than what I am. I'm born like a Celtic. I'm the truth. Everybody know who, who, who the truth is. You know, Paul Pierce played for the Celtics. I'm the truth. It's your boy, Confit. Breaking down the bar. Sing my song. It is what it is. Shout out BZ Justin and Splash Gang. Shout out Lee Mateo. Shout out Joe Frazier. Go cop that uh, on the run one and two. Shout out MB. Shout out to everybody else that's doing their thing and, and trying to make something of themselves. Shout out.